The background is that here at the university uh, there is a course on social design, uh, which means that there is a certain sensibility on social issues and about uh, artistic interventions of all kinds uh, in different uh, social uh, frameworks. And we got the chance to present to you two graduates, and I have to say that quite clearly, not as announced, uh, as announced uh, in the uh, program students, but graduates uh, uh, of uh, this course uh, uh, of uh, social uh, design. And we thought it makes sense not just to talk about the issue in a more theoretic uh, manner, but also deal with uh, artistic interventions as they are and invite you uh, to present uh, that. I'm very grateful that you are here and would like to ask for your presentation. Um, thank you very much. I'm also very grateful to be invited here um, uh, to present the, the project. Um, I would rather to dance, but I should to speak. It's not my strength, but um, I will um, do that my best. <laughs> so. Um, um, that's a project maybe as an, as an, an example uh, for how could we use the artistic strategies um, in terms of over, overcoming social inequality. Um, the project Dance Empowerment um, um, is a, a project uh, for and with refugee women. Um, since 2015, um, September 2015, um, uh, leaving a thousand, more than 1,200 people um, in a building center of Vienna in Vorderbethor am Straße. Um, uh, they are um, refugees from eight different countries. Um, the responsibility of the building um, has the Red Cross. And um, there, they are uh, more than this. 5% men, 20% uh, women, and 25% children. Um, their living conditions are not very optimal. Um, there, there, there is a lack of food and, and health care and uh, sanitary facilities. Um, how you see uh, that there are many different countries uh, involved in uh, living this, uh, in this building. Um, the language barrier is uh, very strong and the fact that um, uh, lots of people should share uh, uh, very scarce resources with each other um, can, could also um, um, create a lot of uh, conflicts and misunderstanding. Um, and um, the people um, finding themselves in a state of waiting there, it means they have a lot of time um, and they have not really the possibility to go out. Uh, I mean they have, but they have a problem with the ticket uh, transportation, uh, so they cannot go so far. <laughs> so they, uh, they stay there. Um, and uh, the language barrier is also big. <laughs> Thank you. Um, there is also a lack of privacy and also, how I said, scared uh, resources. Um, um, and um, there is also a very um, uh, great um, project there uh, do, uh, that's um, made by or started by a um, um, technical university that the students and the professor and also the, uh, the uh, social design department um, uh, called Cafe Rosso. There is a cafe that's uh, in a, like an intervention um, project. Um, it's uh, in, um, in, the, in the first floor of the building, and um, uh, there um, the people can go and drink coffee and tea and spend time. And there is also uh, organized lots of uh, different activities like uh, concerts and jam sessions and things like this. Um, um, but that was a fact that you could observe um, very clearly that the, uh, the, uh, the women, they, uh, uh, mm, they are much more or less women uh, participating in these uh, events, uh, in this cafe. 
um, and it could have also um, it could have different uh, reasons why the women don't go there. Um, it um, it could be uh, I mean uh, the women are in different um, contexts um, like um, uh, or different uh, social status. Uh, some of them are married. Some of them uh, are in the family context, and some of them are single and alone. Um, so the people in a in a um, context of family, they are uh, possibly restricted by their family. Um, and the other ones, they uh, possibly also uh, forced to um, protect themselves from cultural uh, repressions. Um, there is also another fact that some of them could have also religion, uh, religious uh, wealth, uh, uh, world view. Or um, what I also uh, recognize that the, the women um, um, also are very interested to have the connection with the people outside of the building. It's why they don't go uh, downstairs to the cafe and start to have a connection with another woman in the building. So I was uh, thinking about um, starting an intervention uh, project there with the women. Because I'm from Iran and um, I, um, I also, um, uh, how do you say, um, ex um, I, I come from this culture and I uh, experience also lots of um, same, uh, um, same thing that maybe these women uh, uh, um, experienced till now. So I um, tried to um, start a project um, with, uh, uh, that, uh, that, was, uh, that was for me very important to uh, to start a project to create the, 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 the platform to, um, to support the, the possibility of the communication between the women and also uh, support the, um, social interaction and networks. Um, uh, due to my expertise, I uh, choose the medium dance. Um, and I just say briefly um, why dance, because dance um, uh, has a, a great, a, a great possibility to um, to communicate to, com to communicate uh, through the bodies, and also you can ex also exper um, um, express the, uh, your feeling, um, and also it has a very important uh, uh, fact that you uh, you can. Um, Create a feeling of unity um, as you work with the with the other people um, together. So, um, um, in regarding to the empowerment, uh, dance can also generate self-determined activities and also um, realize options for action. And um, um, dance could be also a, a very um, Strong symbol of a cultural identity. Um, that was a, the question: Which methods and concrete strategies I want to I want to try out uh, or use? Um, I wanted to uh, create a platform for meeting and exchange at eye level. It's very important for me because there are different cultures and they uh, possibly has uh, some um, misjudgment about each other. Um, and um, it was also very connected to the mutual, to creating mutual respect, trust, and appreciation. Um, and also uh, generate uh, um, and support the social and interaction, and, um, and as you see, the cultural identity. Um, um, so as this, these women come from uh, the Islamic countries, I just briefly speak about the, uh, the um, the position of Islam uh, regarding dance. Um, it's not clear in the Quran uh, what, um, is it allowed to dance or not. So it's very dependent on the, uh, on the, on the interpretation of the Islam scientists. Um, uh, but one fact that they are all agree with is that the, the dance is, a, um, is an outrageous uh, <coughs> act and it's better to avoid. But dance and music has a very, um, very uh, strong uh, tradition in, this, in these cultures. Um, 
It's it's a nowhere written clearly. It's nowhere written. Um, and uh, so they uh, they had a strong tradition uh, of dance and music. They, it's very uh, normal that the people that the women uh, meet each other in a private spaces in the in their countries and they dance. So it's a very important uh, motivation to meet, to exchange, uh, and um, to uh, to create a network um, and also some political actions. Um, and these people. Uh, they come here, these women, and they have, uh, uh, they have the illusion of being free. At the other side, they come in Vienna and they have no possibility to, to have a, a protective space to, to really move and uh, to, um, to move free because of the context of family and all of the things that I said before. Um, so this uh, platform maybe could be, uh, could be a bridge uh, between these cultural identities and the, and the situation now in which they are um, inside. Okay, so I started to look for a project space. I, I found it in the second floor um, of women, um, women place that was protected. At, uh, and um, so I um, hang out, hang out uh, posters around and uh, spoke also personally to the women. Um, and uh, I started dance events. The people, uh, the women came at the, uh, at the beginning. Um, they there was very uh, less uh, participants, and with the time they came more and more. And um, so I would I would like to say a little bit about uh, my um, my uh, perspective or uh, my goals um, in this. Uh, intervention is it uh, that was not about to uh, teach some styles of dance or something like this that was very important for me to um, to create a place uh, which the uh, the women uh, are encouraged to to show their uh, cultural identity and to uh, to try out um, and to learn from each other um, and um, just to uh, very important just to uh, don't um, be again in a hierarch hierarchical uh, structure. Um, also regarding to me, that was not um, easy just to disillusion them uh, to look at me as a dance teacher um, and just um, be encouraged to, to show their steps and their music. So that was um, also very exciting that they start to to come and uh, put their music, and that was um, also a big issue for me to uh, to share the space and the possibility um, for all of them, also for Arab speakers, for Farsi speakers, and also the speakers, um, some uh, French speakers from Africa, um, just just to share the space for everybody and give them the, the place. It's um, one of the examples of the of the methodology I need. Uh, I, uh, for the events, uh, they were very, very against the photo, uh, but um, some photos I uh, could make uh, that, uh, because they didn't want to um, to publish their faces in the network. Um, and I did also like a, a special um, research with a, with a group um, of of them. They uh, they were interested to do more. And um, that was very interesting because I was um, um, trying out um, uh, to go uh, more deep with them. Um, yes, um, here I was uh, asking them to uh, to speak about um, the, uh, the their desire and the, uh, what they really feel uh, to want to have or to need uh, at that moment. In this this. Um, a uh, very special uh, situation of their life, and uh, the the words they came out was um, dance or fun or God or uh, love, and also um, um, we uh, could uh, ch uh, choose in a in a very democratic way uh, one of these words that was love that was um, most. Um, an important word for, for the women, and they, uh, as you see, they uh, uh, did it with their values. Um, and also, another, in another um, uh, 
um, uh, rehabs that we did, and it came up also these um, very important words like justice and safety, mutual respect, protection, and love. Um, so um, I um, I continue with the project, um, uh, and it um, it changed a little bit in the uh, terms of. Um, organization that the, the women, uh, they uh, organize these events by themselves. It means they, they, they do it, uh, they continue by, by themselves, but um, they ask me also to, um, to continue as a teacher in another event with them. So I just uh, also uh, do continue with them, but um, in that way they were um, very independent, or they are very independent. Um, uh, the, the, the things that, I'm, uh, that um, I found very uh, important in this uh, project was that, uh, uh, that these um, this, that moments that they feel they can uh, uh, leave their culture. That was very uh, uh, sensible moments because they uh, they had the feeling that um, that. That, see, uh, that somebody is interested in their culture and in their s steps and their style of dancing. And um, the other, and also that was um, very important for the others that just observe each other, just to be there and look at each other and, um, and maybe um, um, step by step come closer um, and, um, and um, somehow awake the, the curiosity about the, the culture that's uh, in front of them. And um, I, I had very good feedbacks, like last time I've seen the, um, or I spoke with uh, two Iranian women, they came by an accident in the event and they said, uh, they live since five months in this building and they never met with the other women. Uh, till this day, and that's um, so. The dance was really um, could work as a very strong uh, motivation to come together and to exchange in an island. Um, on and um, I think so. I'm somehow more or less finished, um, and I would like to have a, a place for questions if. It's Thank you very much, uh, Uldus, uh, for this uh, presentation. I forgot uh, during the introductory round to mention that it's not by accident uh, that you dealt with uh, dance. You have uh, professional training, uh, is it in Tehran, uh, but also as a dance educator here in uh, Vienna. Uh, so there was uh, quite a logic behind that uh, uh, you uh, used uh, dance uh, as a mean, uh, but I found it extraordinary uh, that you tried to implement that in a very sensitive way in this social um, setting and you gave us some of the background uh, about that. Are there any immediate questions uh, to Uldus? I think it would be interesting to know when did you, uh, so in t terms of uh, time, so when did you start with the project and is it still uh, ongoing? Yes, I started in October 2015 and it's still, uh, still going. Uh, I continue and it's, uh, in, in, so I just have a, um, some, some things to say. Um, I just wanted to, to, to say at the end of the, the presentation um, because um, I'm uh, for sure thinking about the continuing the project uh, in terms of um, developing also to, to, uh, uh, to the other uh, houses uh, and buildings in Vienna and also in other uh, places maybe. And it's a lack of um, um, support, uh, I felt like, um, because um, the, we, we uh, spoke a lot in the, in the morning about the, the access uh, to, the, to the resources and the, the, the system, it works and the fun functions. Um, and uh, I just want to present myself as an example uh, for an, um, an artist that, um, um, uh, that uh, wants to work um, independent, not uh, to be employed by uh, any uh, institutions, like, um, and to, be, to, be, uh, to act, um, 
act um, very, uh, to be able to act uh, very um, uh, uh, fast to the to the to the actual things. And um, if you want to have some uh, financial support, you just need so much time uh, to apply and everything. So. Um, I just felt, and as an artist, uh, it's um, and I'm working since eight years in Vienna. Um, um, that's very hard to have access to the financial supports in Vienna, um, as the the um, um, as the the possibility for working or the financial uh, it's um, given to to the big institutions. And they have some people, they, they just decide about which uh, concepts and which uh, uh, art, uh, which uh, type of culture should be financed and should be uh, supported. It's like um, the theaters are, in my, in my case, uh, they are the theaters, for example. Um, they have a lot of fi financial power and um, there is a, a very less um, possibility for the individual artist to uh, to get the support, and um, I uh, see it as a big problem in the sy system because um, you cannot really uh, act in the actual um, in a very um, um, actual. Uh, uh, um, need of the society as an artist because there is a lack of financial um, support and we as an artist we need also to leave. Could that also be, uh, it's not only uh, about being an artist, but also working in a sensible social um, setting, uh, which is not seen uh, as a quality criterion, uh, and uh, cultural policy not being pre prepared on this kind of um, interventions. May I also raise a question about uh, what came out at the end? You talked about this is quite a sensible uh, process, and it's not quite sure the role of the dancers. Uh, in Muslim uh, female societies. Did you have any performance at the end? Were there any visitors uh, around, or was it just among the women? Um, um, no, um, I um, recently didn't have, uh, till now, but I'm uh, planning to have, because um, it's also in this term, it's very important to be visible, to go out with the women and to occupy the high places and say we are here and we, we have these needs and, and we want to say that we are here, but with these women, it's quite difficult because, uh, so there is a, uh, lots of barriers uh, we need to overcome, and that's uh, that's why I'm planning maybe as an artist to somehow make it as I'm very used to uh, from my culture, from my from from my, from my experiences in, in Iran, because I was also dancing there, but I needed to make it somehow uh, that I'm not dancing actually. <laughs> Is there another question around? So, we'll just thank you very much. Uh, we'll have. Uh